I wonder how long a fruit fly lives in a human stomach. Hey guys, how you doing? Happy Homebrew Wednesday or Homebrew Weekday, whatever it is for you. Thirsty Thursday is another one. Um, how are you? I'm doing okay myself. Uh, I got myself a glass of red wine, homemade, because I don't have any beer today. It's in the keg and I've got to give it another day or so to, you know, do its thing. So um, that's okay. I've got lots of, lots of red wine. Um, back here behind me, you'll see this fermenter needs to be cleaned out. I just kegged yesterday, so, you know, I'll just clean that out afterwards. And over here, we've got another Canadian blonde beer going. Um, so this one's dry hopped, and I, tr I was going to film it, but both my camera's batteries were, were dead, and I just wanted to get it done, so I'll tell you how I did it. Dry hopping is one of the simplest things in the world. It's, there's a myriad of ways you can do it, um, and really, um, it's really up to you and what you think works for you. Um, all I did was I got a, uh, oh, by the way, let's take a little cheers. And I'll set this down back here. I know exactly what's probably going to happen. Fruit flies. Jeez. We get them every summer. And, you know, you can't even, like, leave, you know, something out for half an hour on the counter. And they're there. You know, they get in and they, they find it. So you really have to keep after them. I got the traps, you know, you put the, the um, you put some fruit in a glass and you just cover it with saran wrap and you poke holes in it. And, and they work. In fact, um, I think I've got one back here. Yeah, this is, here. This is a can of Cooper's, upside down Cooper's. And, uh, yep, there's some fruit flies in there. So it's working, but they really prefer my wine over that. <laughs> Interestingly enough, what's in there is I, I had oak chips I put in one of my batches of wine and when I took the oak chicks, chips, chicks, oh jeez, when I took them out when the wine was finished I, uh, I just threw them in here and I noticed you know a few minutes later or a couple you know an hour or so later that the fruit flies were kind of interested in it so I put the, the plastic wrap over it, poked the holes in it there you go. Bob's your uncle, right? So, um, it works. Do you guys have fruit fly problems? I know a few, got a few of my friends um, in around, not even in, not even who live near me, other people live in other provinces that are having, you know, lots of darn fruit flies. But, uh, anyway, so yeah, that's what'll happen, is that one will land in here. I guess I should cover it or something. You know what? Is that one? No, it's not. Okay, never mind. I thought... <sighs> All right, so then again, cheers. Mmm. I love my wine. Okay. So, the dry hopping thing. Two muslin bags. Um, one has stainless steel little balls in it. Some people use marbles. Um, I didn't have any marbles, but I had these little stainless steel balls that I stole out of one of my kids' um, mag magneto. I don't know what these things are called. You've, you've got little different sized little plastic bars, and they've got magnets in the ends. And then you, you use the balls to join them together, and you build stuff. Well, they don't play with them anymore, so I went out and stole a whole bunch of balls out of one of them. And um, so put those in one bag, and then the hops which were one ounce of experimental grapefruit. Pretty high alpha, too. I think they were either 14 or 17% alpha, which is uh, great for bittering. I hope it works out for flavor and, and aroma, too. They smelt nice. I'm kind of running out of flavor, aroma, like, sorry, excuse me. Sort of running out of low alpha hops right now, so I just thought, well, you know, I'll try these, see what happens. So one ounce in the other bag, you tie the bags together so that the marbles are on the bottom and the hops are on the top, and you just drop them in, and they go right down. 
Hops are probably floating up in the middle somewhere, like a balloon. Or maybe not. Maybe they didn't decide to float this time. I don't know. So we'll leave that for about five days. We'll see how it goes. Now, this is thanks to some, one of my viewers. I don't know who, which one of you who it was, but they, or maybe it was during my broadcast, it said, uh, try dry hopping that Canadian blonde beer you've got. So, um, all right, cool. So, I'm, right now I'm kind of really busy out in the backyard and stuff, so I'm just, right now I'm just doing the blondes. Um, or, well, you know, you got to be uh, brewing the blonde beers. You got to be careful what you say there. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And I'm I'm really happy with them. I put the lime in them sometimes, and they're great. It's all I need for now. Once we get things organized around here, I'll uh, I'll probably be doing uh, some more um, all grain or whatever. Um, I still have not ordered um, or got my hands on a boxed partial extract beer kit yet. Um, I haven't uh, found one that I want to brew, so but I will be, you know, ordering that. I have to go to my homebrew supplier tomorrow anyway, so I'll see what he's got in as far as the uh, uh, the Brewer's Best kits. That's complete home brewing. Uh, they carry the Brewer's Best kits, which I haven't bought in a while, but I'm glad they carry them because when I want to do a nice, build a nice beer, um, those Brewer's Best kits are great. So, um, I want to do a quick shout out. I want to talk about Luke. Uh, no, I don't want to talk about him. I just want to give him a shout out. Hey, Luke. I'll put his YouTube name in the bottom of the screen because I don't remember it. But uh, he sent, he went to my web. Well, I don't want to say where he did it. He just, he sent me a donation. <laughs> and uh, and uh, so he, with that donation, I bought um, brand new. Rush, um, permanent waves. I hope there's no reflection there. Um, beautiful uh, album this is. I have not played it yet. Okay, waiting till I get a moment to sit down and uh, have a beer, or well, it's probably going to be a glass of wine, and uh, give this a spin. So thank you, Luke. You, I'll enjoy this very much. Um, they're twenty-two ninety-nine plus shipping. It's a great deal, 180 gram vinyl, and I'm collecting these. The next one that comes out next month is Moving Pictures. I can't wait to get my hands on that one. You know, Rush Moving Pictures is their best, probably their best, one of their best albums. So, and by the way, this isn't brew related, but somebody a while ago, and I hope you're watching, whoever you are, sent me these covers. They're called Blake, Blake Jackets, or Blake Covers, invented by a guy named Blake. And um, I absolutely love these things. They've got an adhesive uh, uh, thing here to take the record out, so you, don't, you just unpeel it, and it resticks on itself. They look wonderful, and so bl er, the Blake covers they're called. And whoever you are, I don't remember the name of the of the guy, but thank you so much for sending me these. I think it was last year sometime because I absolutely love them. I think they're. I'm going to buy more. I, I'm going to buy more of them. They're crazy, amazing. Look at how nice that looks protect your vinyl. Okay, back to brewing. Back to brewing. Uh, let me get myself a little motion lotion here. Ah, uh, that's good. Sorry. I do love my red wine. Didn't put any oak chips in this one this time, though, which I miss. Next time I'm going to make sure I put them in. Good news on the John Palmer interview. I have been back and forth with John Palmer over the last couple of days. Um, what a patient guy he is, my God, because, you know, trying to get the two of us to co coincide with, you know, finding a time to, to have an interview um, um, and a beer. I hope he's got a beer going when, uh, when we do it so we can sort of have a beer together. That will be cool. I feel very privileged and honored to be able to speak to John. And I've got a slew of uh, my dog's barking upstairs. She gets locked out of the, my, the room upstairs where the rats are because my wife has to clean them. And she gets excited and barks and, and stuff when she's cleaning the rats. So she has to close her out of the room. And of course, then she gets upset and does that. But I don't even know if you can hear it. Got my shotgun microphone on, so maybe you can't hear it. 
uh, maybe you won't be able to pick it up. But um, where was I? So yeah, um, John's a busy guy, man. He's like he travels all the time. Like, I don't know what he does, but um, so to try and get him and I, and this has been like a year in the making. Now, I could have done it a lot sooner than now, but I sort of you know I get doing other things and you know I get you know preoccupied with stuff the funny part is is that um, and for those of you who don't know I put a video out last year June 23rd I yes June 23rd it was posted on YouTube it was a homebrew Wednesday it was asking you guys to post questions down in the comments section as of uh, questions that you would like me to ask John um, so you did that, a lot of you did, and me and Dan, ABA, uh, American Bastardale, uh, went through the questions and we picked out the best topics and subject matter that we could think of and we conglomerated them and I got lots of great questions for John. I got 20 questions and a few of them can be combined into sort of a group question because it's there, you know, a few, three, four, three different questions about yeast and whatnot. So. Um, so thanks to Dan, ABA. So anyways, me and John Palmer um, are, have decided that it's good uh, this Sunday coming up um, to get in, to you know connect on Skype and do a little bit of an interview, a Q and A, if you will. But the funny part is <laughs> that last year, June 23rd, was when I asked you to send me the questions. And this year, June 23rd, is when I decided to go and get the questions and sit down with Dan and go through them. I did not know at the time when I decided to do that, to go and get the questions. See, what happened was I forgot what the video was called. Um, so I had to go back in my archives and figure out what, you know, which video it was. And I'm doing this on June 23rd. Okay. When I finally found the video, I noticed the date it was posted, June 23rd last year. Crazy stuff. That's weird. So anyway, it's 365 days later. I'm in touch with John again, and we looks like Sunday night we're gonna we're gonna do that. So I'm looking forward to it. Is it, providing everything works out okay? That next week's homebrew Wednesday will be that interview with John Palmer. I'm a big fan of his. Uh, he's a tremendously nice guy. Everyone knows that. And, uh, you know, it'd be great to bounce a few of these questions off of him. And there's a lot of questions, you know, that uh, there's a lot of things that have been tossed around over the years. I'm going to address John about these things and see what he says about it. Um, and he already, you know, it's so, you know, a lot of things, uh, there's a lot of stuff like, um, you know, questions that we've had over the years, like if you sprinkle yeast on your wort, which a lot of us do, um, should you stir it in or, you know, leave it on top? Uh, or how about the one where a lot of people say, some people say you, sh you, you need to rehydrate dry yeast. Don't ever sprinkle it on dry. Rehydrate it first. Other people say you don't have to do that. And I actually spoke to somebody who, um, was it um no it's an it's an interview and i haven't listened to it yet but i was told that the subject matter was yeast and maybe what i'll do is put a link down in the below here to that interview um i don't even know who it's with I, I haven't listened to it yet but dan sent it to me and i have to still listen to it um so there's all these things that people say yeah you should do this you shouldn't do that no yes you should or you know whatever let's see what john says so I've got lots of questions like that. And yes, I am going to pop the question, can you make good beer from a pre-hopped beer kit? I, I'm, going to, I'm going to pop that question to John. He already knows that. And we're going to see what he has to say. And I'm not talking about taking a can of, of this stuff and, and, you know, and just putting a bunch of sugar in, adding water. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about doing what we do, which is using that as a base and sprucing it up with some grains and some extra hops and what we're doing is like same back here was you know we got dry hopping that one yeah that's, you know that's that's the kind of stuff plus i've got some more complex questions for him re re relating to all grain 
So it's going to be great, and I'm looking forward to it. So stay tuned. I'm running out of wine, so this video is coming to a close. Cheers. Mm. All right. Okay, well, thank you for watching, guys. Please, you know, rate the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Post it on your Twitter, your Facebook, your whatever social networks you want. Spread it around. Spread all my stuff around. Spread the spread the word, <laughs> okay, you know? Because, you know, the more views I get, the more comments I get down below, the more popular the videos get. Whether it be comments or ratings, either way, doesn't matter. It still helps the video become more popular. I learned that. And so, uh, you know, post a comment. Just say, hey, Craig, you know, I read all the comments on every Homebrew Wednesday I make. All of them. Thank you guys for the support. It's awesome. These are great quality shirts. This is my navy blue Craig Tube radio shirt. And, or what's it called? WCRAIG. Which relates to my live broadcast that we do every Friday night, most Friday nights. On vonlive.tv Von slash Craig Tube. Great tunes. Great chat room. Great people. Great fun. Brew talk. Skype calls. We have a great time. That's why I've been doing it for four and a half years. Almost pretty much every Friday night. Four and a half years. You don't do something voluntarily for four and a half years if you don't enjoy it. So if you have a few moments, stop by and say hello in the chat room. You have to create an account, but it's free on, on Von Live. All right, I'm out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching this Homebrew Wednesday or midweek Homebrew... <laughs> whatever you want to call it, video. Thanks to SJ Poor for inventing Homebrew Wednesdays. A lot of guys are doing them on YouTube, so there's a lot more Homebrew Wednesdays out there to watch. So uh, give them a whirl, okay? Some people brew, some people talk. We have all, all have our own style, and uh, I enjoy doing it. So thank you very much. Cheers! Take care. Be safe.